Hey, welcome back to the Corporate Finance Academy. Today, we are going to talk about depreciation. All right, the life of a car. So this is a great real life example, something that everybody should be able to relate to. But if you buy a new car, how much is it worth in three years? The same as when you bought it, less, more. Uh, You hear people talk about it's worth 10% less the minute you drive it off the car lot. Um, May or may not be true. Depends on the car you have. Could be more, could be less. Um, But the reality is a car is worth less over time. So after three years, on average, a car is worth only 58% of its original price. Um, The car is worth less each year. And it has a definitive end of life. Uh, if, you, if you do a quick Google search, you'll see the expected life of a car is 12 years. So the definition of depreciation is a reduction in the value of an asset over time, particularly when that has to do with wear and tear or something that's no longer, is not worth as much as it was before. When you first buy an asset, it starts out at its book value. So when you buy it, that's the book value, which should be fair market value because you were willing to pay for it. Uh, Usually someone else would be willing to pay that same price. And that book value is going to then reduce each year based on an expected useful life of that asset. The depreciation in any time period represents how much of that asset's value has been used in that time period. So why do we have depreciation? And really this goes with accrual accounting. Most large companies use accrual accounting versus cash accounting. And in cash accounting, you would be, in many of these instances when you buy something, you're paying cash today. So if you use the vehicle example, and let's say you're a, a business and you're buying a truck for local, small truck for local deliveries for $30,000. There's a good chance that you're going to pay cash for that. And in cash accounting, you would take that all as, an exp- all as an expense in the current period. But in accrual accounting, the idea is to record expenses as they are incurred versus when you're actually paying the cash. So you want to match that cost of the asset with when it is actually helping you generate revenue. And if you have that local delivery truck, it's going to it's going to help you generate revenue over its whole life, which maybe is 10 years. So you want that cost to also be across those 10 or so years. So what depreciates? Um, an asset that's owned by a business, and it should be an asset, asset that's helping you somehow generate revenue as a business. It should have a life of longer than a year. Uh, Typically, I I say significantly longer, but typically it's three, five, seven, ten years and occasionally longer, but something that has a longer life. And usually it's a tangible asset. So, you know, vehicle, a piece of equipment, machinery. There are some instances where intangibles can be depreciated, but that's more of a... uh, 201 versus 101 lesson. Typical assets include things like property, buildings, machines, equipment, vehicles, other things like that. What doesn't um, land often has the opposite effect where it appreciates over time. So no need to depreciate land. Current assets, less, those are less than a year. Cash, even though you can have FX differences and things like that, we typically don't, uh, we, we do not uh, depreciate cash. So how does it work? You buy an asset, it's put on the balance sheet at its fair, at its purchase price, which is really its fair market value. And then you determine a useful life for that asset. Uh, and then the speed of the reduction could be even throughout the useful life, straight line, or it could fall an alternative schedule. And there's double declining balance and makers and a number of others that that are out there. Okay, so how does this work? Now you guys bear with me here. I've got this new toy and I'm not very good with it just yet. But you start out and you've got your useful life. So your useful life. Well, 
let's just say that that is 10 years. You've got a cost. So let's use that same example that we were talking about with the delivery truck. So the cost is 30 K and then, so let's say we're going to use straight line depreciation. So you're going to have, uh, basically you're going to take that $30,000 divided by 10 years equals 3000 per year. Now in this example for simplicity, we're going to say that we do depreciation just annually. Many businesses do it quarterly or even monthly, but we're going to do it annually here. Okay, so we bought this asset. So from a journal entry perspective, the accounting that supports this, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to debit asset account, which is really a vehicle, for $30,000 purchase price. We're also going to credit cash because we're going to assume we paid cash for this for $30,000. Now notice this is a balance sheet account and this is a balance sheet account. Okay, now moving on. Uh, let's say we've had this asset now for a year. Cruel concept of accounting. We need to recognize that expense as we incur kind of the benefit from having that asset. So we're going to debit our depreciation expense and we said on the prior slide that it was three thousand dollars a year and we're going to credit the asset but really it's something called accumulated depreciation that we're hitting for three thousand dollars this is a, a contra asset account. And when you look at the book value of the asset, at the end of year one, it's gonna be the net of that 30,000 up here and the 3,000 here. So your net book value is gonna be $27,000 at the end of year one. And notice this is where we're finally hitting the income statement. So we've got our balance sheet here, reducing that, that book value, but we're hitting the income statement here. So that is simplistically how you put the asset on the balance sheet and how you, you depreciate it over time. So that's it. It's a lot about depreciation, but it's a very useful thing to know. It's critical to know. It's a fundamental of corporate finance. If you, there, are, there are many, many more things you can learn about depreciation. So if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this video, like it, or even if you disliked it, you can do that. But give us the thumbs up and leave any questions or comments you, had, you have, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.